Hey everybody, welcome back to the Passive Money Plan. Y'all know who we are. Uh, today we're gonna talk about the biggest problem for baby boomers. And it's to me, it's funny. It was just something I was just thinking about, you know, after talking to a lot of people over the years. I noticed a lot of the philosophies of life, money, and everything else was just something that somebody else told somebody. It wasn't based on actual facts and things like that. So, of course, you know, I my my parents are boomers. Um, I don't know a lot of boomers. And I see that most of the information they have about a lot of topics in life, it didn't come from... It didn't come from, you know, Encyclopedia Botanica or nothing like that. It's just stuff that was just passed down through the years. And people still live on those, you know, stories from the 1850s and <laughs> moving forward. But today, like I said, we're going to talk about the biggest problem with baby boomers. And I think the biggest problem for baby boomers is Google. I think Google is the biggest problem because now you can fact check all the BS that they've been telling you all these years. Um... And they, and then the thing is, if you fact check them, then they so upset. They're so, they so upset when you fact check them. It's, it's crazy. Oh. But the thing, the reason why I'm bringing this topic up is because a lot of people, kids today, you know, their parents and grandparents are boomers and they still live off of the philosophies or the thoughts or insights on how it's done. The thing is, is boomers was born, you know, 19, you know, 30s to the 1960s, I believe that's the date range. So if you believe in philosophies from back then, this world has changed 180 degrees from, you know, 50, 60, 70 years ago. And a lot of the stuff that they say, it's just complete BS. I mean, I'll use one for the black community, Alex, and then you can tell me one of the biggest problems you have for baby boomers. But the 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 black community they always say things like uh you know democrats is for is for the poor and democrats are for african americans and republicans are are not but then you go through history and fact check it it was republicans that free slaves it was all republicans and no democrats that voted for the civil rights bills uh same for in Congress for giving blacks the right to vote. It was all Republicans and not Democrats. That's just one philosophy um, that I noticed. And then you bring up the facts. And then I even had a boomer tell me, oh, you're going to stop Googling what I said. I was like, why? So you, so you can't live the lie no more? And that's what it is, is a lot of things are just passed down from me, mine, and them back in you know, slavery days, and then people just keep regurgitating it over and over and over again. I mean, I was having a conversation with my mom the other day, and I was like, so where did you get your philosophy on life? Oh, everything, everything my father said, it wasn't no question questioning my father. And I was like, okay, but then you live life and then realize it wasn't exactly what they said, but you kept doing it, and then you passed it down to your kids. And then she said, nobody questions his grandfather, so that's what we do. So, and then, I mean, now that, you know, my mom lived closer to me, so I hear a lot more of these philosophies and I mean, I hear from other people also. And then I just sit there and be like, well, that's not, that's not remotely even true. So I think that's, that's a, uh, I think the best thing that ever happened to, especially the youth was Google came around. And now if you just have any sense about yourself, I, I would question everything these boomers say. Now, did the boomers work hard and make a lot of money for their families? Hell yeah. But the thing that you should take for the boomers is their work ethic, how hard they work, how they didn't give excuses. But the information that they spewing, I'm going to let me say 75% of it is total BS. Balance, what you got? I think Kirby wanted to do this video so my mom would kill me. So, <laughs> <laughs> man, this, yeah, I, I've, I hear a lot of crazy stuff from the from the older people and it's true it's just a lot of the sayings that they have or a lot of the the way of thinking that they have is just weird and 
I don't know if you notice this too, but a lot of them are very um, uh, may, maybe more so with like being that my family is Puerto Rican, um, and then you coming from the black community, but like superstitious. That's the word I'm looking for. Like the very superstitious, what? and it's like there's no <laughs> there's no logic to what they say. It's just like, oh, okay, like you believe that, <laughs> like it makes no sense. But it's absolutely true. I mean, and then, you know, you pull up Google and then you fact check them and then they say, oh, you can't believe everything you hear on the Internet. That's that's a lie. Every, they're lying on the Internet. Like, uh, you don't think people will lie to you in real life? Like, it doesn't. Right. Right. And, you know, you could have all the sources and everything on Google showing you, but no, nah, they don't believe it. But <clears throat> it's true. It's that old way of thinking. I think that society has innovated so much what is it that we're in the information era era and mm -hmm. you know society is progressing i think they said per year it's progressing at a like 10x rate that it than it was back in the like the 40s the 50s like since we've reached this time period of technology computers we're learning so much information and because they come from a generation where it was very just traditional and old school. They mm. they don't want to adapt to innovation. And I see it in the workplace, too, especially the company I work for. Um, and I'm sure this still exists in plenty of smaller businesses, but the VPs, directors and stuff, they have such an old school way of thinking that the business just stays at like the same level. It doesn't, it doesn't grow. It doesn't improve. And it's because they keep that same way of thinking. And it's, it's just the old way of thinking that you have to get rid of. And as they say, if you are not innovating or you're not improving, you will die. I mean, because there's other competitors out there like Amazon and Walmart and all these big enterprises that are constantly innovating and you have to, I mean, that's, that's just in the business field, but I mean, even in personal life too, just right. and this, this, this applies to, to uh, how we say control your emotion. It, it, it's not just in business. It's, it's in everything because the, the way some, some of the statements I've heard sound, uh in, in you know when they sound superstitious let's say it's just that's just pure emotion there's no logic and if they would actually read the scripture that they're referring to it doesn't even talk about that like it just they they're so super superstitious and they they get so emotionally attached to the the old tales and the things that they've heard growing up and it's just like man like I've, I've heard crazy stuff like oh little kids protect you from snakes like <laughs> <laughs> like what does that mean <laughs> like what the heck does that mean like like how is that possible but because they're angels or whatever like it's just there's some weird stuff man but but yeah that's yeah as soon as you started off i was like oh boy here we go i'm gonna get assassinated after this no and and it's not and it's really not taking a shot at the boomers what are, what it is, is understand where it comes from the and Alex, you said it perfectly. It's the information. The access to information was nowhere near readily available in the 1930s, 40s, 50s, and 60s. I mean, just think about it. The only way you got information was back in the day, just before cable TV and all that stuff, was you know, the morning news, the evening news, and the newspaper, right? And then that's if you can afford those avenues. So everything that they got was because word of mouth, because many people couldn't afford that, those uh, forms of media. So everything was word of mouth, word of mouth. And y'all know how the telephone game goes. One person says it, by the time it gets to you, that the information is convoluted so bad that it's, from the original source, it's convoluted so bad that it's nowhere near what the original source said. But now just imagine boomers are taking stuff from people that was back from the you know 1910s. And then now we didn't move forward a century and they still regurgitating. You think the information from the original source is not correct? I mean, 
the Encyclopedia Botanica was the biggest source of knowledge back in the day. I mean, for people that's old enough, y'all remember what the Encyclopedia Botanica was. If you had money, you could get, you know, the 26 volumes of the Encyclopedia Britannica and it gave you all the information that was out there, you know, facts about, you know, what's going on in the world, you know, not at real time, but just, you know, historically what's going on. But people didn't have access to that medium. So the only thing they had was you might have, you know, cousin, relative, and they'll tell you what's going on. But again, it's like the game of telephone. The original source, what they said, and then now we done moved forward a century from there, the information is very convoluted. So the worst thing you could do, especially if you got parents as boomers, is just Google anything that they say. Oh, if you want a butt whooping, that's that's how you do it. That's what I, that's what you do. If you want to get cussed out, Google it. Because it will be nowhere near the the truth of what's being said. Mm-hmm. But yeah, I just wanted to put that out because it was uh it was something funny that I realized that. That every time somebody said something to me, I would always Google it while they text me. And I'd be like, well, I just looked up Google. And then people like, you gonna stop Googling me. You gonna stop Googling me. And then I'm like, well, <laughs> you're wrong. And, and it, it's the funniest thing ever. And they always have to be boomers when it happens. So that's why I, I just wanted to bring up this topic. Tell me say, guys, if you like the video, hit the like button. If you've got a funny boomer encounter, let us know in the comment section below. Share this video, subscribe, and we'll see you guys in the next one.